We are talking to Mr. Polly Shore. Polly, good morning, man. Montana. Yeah, Where's baby. Kevin Costner? That's what I'm wondering. I haven't Does seen him today. He live up there? He, uh, I think there's a lot of people that live up here, but they don't really live up here. You know, they just have like houses up here or ranch. Must guys. be nice, huh? Exactly. You need to get a place up here. I've never even been there. I know. We talked about that last time you were on the show. You were on the show promoting Natural Born Comics. Uh-huh. And when you were on for that, we talked about uh, you coming up here to do some comedy gigs. And then you... Uh, uh, it you hasn't know. panned out. No one's calling for me up there. I don't know. You we got to have a... I want a Polly Shore comedy... St- Comedy club campaign or something. I know we got to get something rolling. We've got a. There's a guy that moved down to LA that works that is from here, and he's been bringing up some comedy. We had Brett Ernst up here last weekend. The guy from uh, Vince Vaughn. Oh yeah, comedy I know tour. Brett. Very funny dude. Did a great two nights up here, and so. Oh wow. Well, I'll ask him about that. How big's the club? Um, it's a. I think they do like two hundred about on a night. So I mean, two oh, on one night, cool. two hundred the next. Yeah. It's not bad. We'll get you up here, but let's first talk about you uh, adopting a black child from Africa. <laughs> yeah, he's in the other room. Hold on, let me get him. Atwa! He's sleeping, but he, he's, he's in there. Sweet child, I imagine. That'd my be... sweet child, my sweet boy. My boy, my boy, my child. Adopted is the uh, the new documentary about you taking a journey over to uh, to Africa to find a uh, a small child to adopt, right? Yeah, it's out on DVD right now. It just came out. Um, people are feeling it. People are loving it. People are laughing, and it's a uh, it's it's a film that I wanted to do to kind of poke fun at the whole Angelina Madonna thing, and you know, and and you know now Polly Shore is doing it. That's how ridiculous this has gotten. You know, are you? I know that the movie is obviously mostly a comedy. You know, it's 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 a funny thing. Have you thought about actually having children or actually adopting, or is that not for you? Well, I would I would have kids, but I, I mean, as far as adopting, I don't. I would rather have my own kid. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that too. I'm the, like I'm all for adoption. I think it's nice when people do it, but it's like really, I think it's just some like conceited part of me or something. But it's like if I'm gonna raise a kid, spend all that money and all that time and stuff, like I want it to at least be my. And like, plus, my we're selfish uh, as human beings. We want to see us and a kid yeah but, we don't want to see some other kid and a kid you know what i mean but who the hell is this kid in my house just, that's my, my kid i don't want him anymore you want him to be funny like you i want my own kid exactly so i don't know um yeah so it, it's just uh yeah i don't know you know it's it's, it's some people like that some people don't i guess yeah it's i guess it works for some people i was uh reading yesterday somewhere that you actually like sold out of your first run of uh, dvds is that true or did I make that yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. What happened was, is I guess the way it works, from what I understand, is that the the studio, whoever puts the film out, I guess gets an order from from whoever, you know, Blockbuster, whoever, and then they get a pre-order, and then if they sell out, then they order more. So I guess what happened is, is in the first week they sold all of them out, and they're getting more. So that's a good that's a good sign. Excellent. Yeah, that's so I guess good. All you. the viral marketing's been working, and the word of mouth. I guess. Is this how you? Uh, I mean, are you making your money doing comedy touring around, or do you make your money on these like projects like this? Because you're writer, director, producer, star, you know, all those things. So I'm sure you get most of the cash from it. Where do you make your living? I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> I'm like Jay Z, man. I'm slugging the drugs, bro. What's up? So the comedy is just like a hobby, then. Man, that's my stuff I do on the side. Down real, down life. I'm slinging the drugs. Uh, good to know. Yeah. What no, about- I don't know. My stand up mostly, and, and you know, some some gigs here and there. You know, and if a movie does well, then I guess I'll see something there. But uh. You know, I'm not. I'm not really in it for the money, believe yeah. it or not. I kind of. I'm really in it for the work. I like the work. That's cool. That we were talking to. Uh, speaking of other comedians coming here, Lewis Black's performing here tonight, and we oh, talked wow. to him yesterday, and he said that that same thing. He's like, man, it's like it's about the work. He said, I like the work, and I also I like any comedian, even if they're not my style. I appreciate anybody that's out there putting in the time and doing the work. Mm-hmm. So it's that same thing. I guess there's like a well, comedy. It's, more, bond. it's like it's like a jazz mus- mus- musician. It's like. You know, um, you know, would they do it if they weren't getting paid? Probably. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I think most of them what, don't get paid. Do, so. Yeah. What else do you have going on? I know that I heard something about a new MTV show. Something about something on eBombs. Yeah, World. we're gonna shoot. Yeah, we got a, a new. If you go to a website right now, it's called eBombsWorld.com. dot com. It's a pretty big website. We just uh, dropped a video on there yesterday. That's really funny. That's called uh, Hollywood Hustle. And it's basically me kind of pimping my film on the streets. 
and people can go see that. And then also I shoot this August um, an MTV show, and I don't want to really get into the whole thing on that. I'd rather shoot it and then talk about it, okay. you know? We'll keep it on the DL for you, but people, yeah, people yeah. can know it's coming. Somebody just texted in here and wants to know, uh, as Polly Shore, who's the hottest chick he's ever dated? Oh, man. Can you pick? You've dated some hot chicks. Kylie Minogue, I have to say. She's the hottest? Yeah. I think you've got a thing for her, man. I think you need to rekindle that. There's something there. The what? There's something there between you and Kylie. I think you need to rekindle that romance. Yeah, I know. She's, she's, in, she's in Europe, though. She's not even around. That's the best kind, Polly. It's the best yeah, kind. So. <laughs> hey, man, well, yeah, that's true. The movie Adopted, it's out right now. It's selling really well. People are watching it. People are liking it. Very funny. Check that out, and also check out E-Bombs World uh, for more Polly Shore stuff on the internet, and then look forward to the uh, the MTV show that's Super DL right now that's uh, coming up, and everything else Polly's doing. Hopefully, yeah, and, and I want to come up there and maybe do some shows sometime. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully we'll get it. Have uh, your owner of the club. What's his name? Uh, well, Lucas Seeley. Lucas, is the guy. what's up, bro? Call us at the comedy store. Make it happen. <laughs> there we go. I think that'll get it done. Mr. Polly Shore, as always, it's great to talk to you, bro. Uh, good luck with everything, man. All right. Thanks, bro. See you, dude. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.